Hey everyone, in today's video, we're taking a look at the exciting beta release of Ubuntu 24.10, codenamed Oracular Oriole. Canonical has just dropped the public beta, giving us a sneak peek into what we can expect from the final release on October 10th, 2024. Ubuntu 24.10 is set to ship with some major updates and changes. Right off the bat, we've got the latest GNOME 47 desktop environment as the default. GNOME 47 brings a bunch of under-the-hood improvements, along with some nice UI tweaks to enhance your desktop experience. On top of that, Ubuntu 24.10 is powered by the brand new Linux 6.11 kernel, which means better hardware support, improved performance, and more stability overall. It's exciting to see Canonical keeping up with the latest advancements in the Linux world. Now, let's talk about some of the highlights of this beta release. One of the cool new features is the updated desktop installer, which now supports local file paths for auto-install import. This makes it easier to automate and customize your installation process, especially if you're setting up multiple machines. The Power Profiles Manager has been improved and optimized for newer hardware features, which is especially great news for those of you using AMD processors, as it promises better power management and overall performance. If you're using a laptop with a fingerprint reader, you'll be happy to know that support for fingerprint devices has been updated and improved. Security is always a priority, and Ubuntu 24.10 introduces a new security center. It lets you easily enable or disable the experimental permissions prompting feature for home directory permissions, giving you more control over your system's security settings. The App Center has also received some enhancements, especially on the Manage page, making it easier to keep track of and manage your installed applications. And for those using NVIDIA GPUs, Ubuntu 24.10 will default to Wayland instead of Zorg, a significant change that should bring better performance and stability, though your mileage may vary depending on your setup. Now, what's going on under the hood? Ubuntu 24.10 comes with a refreshed toolchain that includes GCC 14.2, GNU Benoodles 2.43.1, GNU C Library 2.40, LLVM 19, Rust 1.80, Go 1.23, OpenSSL 3.3, Systemd 256.5, NetPlan 1.1, and .NET 8. These updates ensure that developers have access to the latest tools and libraries, making Ubuntu 24.10 a solid platform for development. If you're curious and want to test out Ubuntu 24.10 for yourself, the beta images are available for download right now from the official website. However, keep in mind that this is a pre-release version, so it's not recommended for use in production environments. It's great for testing and giving feedback, but you might want to wait for the final release if you're looking for a rock-solid system. Beta versions are available for the standard Ubuntu desktop, server, and cloud editions, along with all the official flavors like Edubuntu, Kubuntu, Subuntu, Lubuntu, Ubuntu Studio, Ubuntu Unity, Ubuntu Cinnamon, Ubuntu Budgie, Ubuntu Kylan, and Ubuntu Mate. So, what do you think about the new features in Ubuntu 24.10? Are you excited about the GNOME 47 desktop and the switch to Wayland for NVIDIA users? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Linux and tech content. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.